All right. Um. Uh, first off, I'm just gonna start off by saying all glory uh to the Most High. Uh, the Most High is holy. People, uh, please take that to heart. Lay that to heart. Um, uh, the Most High is holy. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. And I'll start the video. Uh, it's been brought to my attention plenty times. Uh, before. Uh, I'm sorry. I have a stuffy nose. Uh, it's been brought to my attention plenty of times how uh, many people get into Christianity and they start getting into this like um, uh, God is only uh, love uh, side of things, and uh, they completely they completely negate the fact that uh, this is a war, you know. And um, I mean, it's not wrong though, you know, it's good, but there there has to be a balance to it. There's worship, and then there's uh, warfare. There's worship of Jesus Christ, and then there's warfare. There's worship of Jesus Christ and prayer, and then there's warfare. People, it, there has to be a balance. You can't just be all nothing but worship, and uh, essentially, like, like, you're giving up your manhood. You're giving up your, what is it called? Your your manly card or your man card? It's something like that. I don't, I don't really conform to the ways of the world, but... It's like you're giving up your 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 uh your manhood. I mean, uh, the abominations that that I witness on a day to day basis, you know, it's just evident that uh, <coughs> it's just evident that there's not a lot of Christians that are actually engaging in spiritual warfare, which leads me to believe what are you Christians actually doing? I mean, I go on Instagram and obviously most of the Christians are are out uh, looking at memes uh. Christian memes, which realistically is just nonsense. It's just stupid. It's just like, stupid. It's not. It doesn't suit. It doesn't suit Christians to. Uh, it doesn't suit Christians to uh, to conform themselves to the ways of the world because it's a bad look for them. To me. But of course, there's there's plenty of carnal Christians who want to fight this and they want to fight my words. I'm like, what the heck? Not even me though, but they just want to fight my words, uh, and. Uh, and uh, there has to be uh, a separation from the earth. I mean, I understand many people try to justify memes, but in reality, they're mostly uh, uh, foxes that are spoiling the vineyard. They're not really the types of individuals that are actually engaging in virtuous uh, memes, if that's even possible, if that's even a thing. <coughs> Which uh, it just looks it just looks ridiculous to look at memes and then be like, what the heck? I mean, I'm 25 years old though, but that's 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 different, you know. I, that's different for me. I, I I rarely like memes, you know. And the memes I do like, I just look to to you know to fall in love with humanity because it's funny to see how how humans are, how humans interact with one another, and it's funny to me. But. At the same time, you know, uh, we, we're supposed to be engaging in, in, in spiritual warfare. And uh, I'm just going to give you some tips and like some hints and, and, and things to take care of before, you know, you actually engage in, in spiritual warfare. Because uh, this is something that we're all called to do. Because as Christ put it, when, uh, when, he, would, when he would deliver the individuals from oppression and from devils and from all that type of stuff... Um, he would deliver them, and that he said in Matthew how he said himself. He said that the, you know the kingdom of God has come upon you. That's war. There's two kingdoms, and these two kingdoms are constantly at war with each other. The kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness. He says the kingdom of light has come upon you, and it has overcome the darkness. Essentially, that's what he that's what he's saying. You know, he's like, well, the light overcame the darkness. What do you expect? So this is not one of those types of things. Jesus didn't call us to make memes. He called us to 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 to, uh, to fulfill these people's dreams. I mean, in all seriousness, these people are heavily dependent on other individuals who have the ability to cast these devils out of them, which is just spirits, people. I've cast out dumb spirits, spirits of muteness. I've tried to cast out spirits of autism and other 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 spirits like that, but it's just it's just little basic principles that everybody is called every Christian that's filled with the Holy Spirit is called to do people, and that's the kingdom advancing on enemy occupied territory, which every Christian is called to do in deliverance. Uh, it's 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 it's, it's all at war, people. 
Um, and uh, you had to be, uh, you know, you had to be forewarned. That you're forewarned now, so now you're for now you're forearmed. You're already armed because I already warned you. So now you know you have to take the right precautions using God's strategies and counsels, and and pray for everything else that you need to pray for to ensure that you know that you're armed to the tenth to the to, to the tenth power to infinity. You know. And uh, many people don't want to, you know, every, every Christian has their own little, their own theology that they adhere to. But this is just something that's basic principles that they have to do, you know. I'm not saying that worship is wrong, and I'm not saying it's, uh, being all spiritual warfare is wrong. It's, it's not really wrong, actually. It's actually pretty good, you know, because you're constantly fighting. You're praying without ceasing, essentially. That's what you're doing because you're constantly going against the enemy all day when you're going to spiritual warfare. So spiritual warfare includes healing individuals. It includes delivering individuals from strongholds and oppression. It includes preaching the gospel. It includes all this stuff is spiritual warfare in the sight of the devil. In, in the devil's eyesight, he's looking at it and he's like, this is all spiritual warfare. He's going against my kingdom because he's spreading light. And uh, all this stuff it is just spiritual warfare in, in the eyes of the devil. So you may not see yourself as a target to the devil, but the devil sees you as a bullseye, and he's trying to he's trying to kill you and try to take you out. So meanwhile, you, you're trying to have this lavish lifestyle, and you're wondering why you're getting bitter. It's because you, the devil was seeing what you were doing, and he was trying to ensure you know that you don't get bitter. I mean, that you don't get saved until the end, that you get bitter, and he puts these roadblocks and these strongholds. Realistically, most of you people didn't even care about the situation that you care about in 2013, that you care about now. That's the devil working. But, you know, uh, it's all spiritual warfare, people. No, you, you, there's no way around it. Uh, the kingdom of light, obviously light prevails darkness. The only way that, that, that darkness would prevail over light is if it was darkness and darkness was fighting over it. Which is why I'm telling you people to seek God's counsel and his strategies. Because your counsel and strategies, the devil already knows. You're already more predictable to him than anything. Because he already been, he's already been molding you ever since you were a little kid. Because you were his, essentially. You were ignorant to the fact that, you know, to the people who were Christian from, you know, obviously, I'm not sure if it applies to you. But, obviously, he, he has been doing work, you know. Uh, people recognize the devil. I'm getting tired of hearing the same, you know, the devil has the authority and the legal right to, he's a murderer. He is just like a man. If you look at a man with his eyes and, you, and if the devil were to be a man, you'd be like, man, this dude is going to die by God. God is going to utterly destroy him. But nobody's praying for this type of stuff or has this type of knowledge to actually say this type of stuff to the devil. I would say, I'd be like, yeah, you're a murderer. You have no right over me at all. Uh, how are you going to accuse me when your hands are completely covered in blood? Your hands are completely stained in it. They're like, nah, I, mean, I don't want to hear nothing that you want to say or, or your manipulative ways to try to get me to, to be scared of you. I, I don't want to hear any of that, you know. And and that's basically just trying to overcome and tackle the devil and try to wrestle against this, this, this wicked serpent who tries to plant seeds in your head to try to make it seem like, you know, uh, th that you're really... It's just a, it's just a lot, it's just a lot of garbage that he just throws at you and constantly. And these are strongholds, people. And he, and and, and these these one seeds of uh, corruption they come inside your mind, and then they they're able to build layers and layers upon it until finally you're in the end, and you're like, God's not gonna deliver me ever. And then you're just like, man, what? I'm so I'm so messed up and so screwed up. And then you're like, wait a second, the devil's a murderer. What the heck? What? I was like, he has no legal right whatsoever. And, and uh, God, God has the ability to curse you. People, don't, 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 don't misinterpret what I'm saying. God will curse you for disobedience, but you know, uh, we've we've already been grafted into the natural olive tree for us to be a part of righteousness and actual salvation and holiness. People, uh, it, it's it's not, you know. God will silence the accuser. <laughs> who's he gonna? Who's he gonna? I mean, to you, it's like you're his son. So it is, who he's gonna favor you is grace. You know, he's gonna favor you over the devil always. And he hates the devil to the tenth power. He hates him with a passion. And then for you to just submit to him and be like, yeah, you know, I deserve it. You sound like an abused spouse who's getting beat. Uh, in the domestic battery, you know, it's a domestic battery case. You sound like an abused spouse getting constantly beat up by your husband. And you give your husband the benefit of the doubt each time, people. You're not supposed to do that. 
you know, it's like, no, it's like, what you're doing is wrong. I mean, for real, if if, if the devils, the devils are harassing you constantly, you know, day in and day out, harass them back. People be forewarned and forearmed, you know, about this type of stuff because you have to be, you have to be warned that way you actually know what to do. And, and you people, when you actually pay attention and not even sensitive to the Holy Spirit, but when you actually uh, hear the Holy Spirit and you actually, you know, you start getting familiar with it, uh, you, you realize that the Holy Spirit is warning you all day, all day and day in and day out. When you actually apply this principle that you're, you're, when you're warned, you're armed, you hear the Holy Spirit warning you constantly all day of all the dangers that are hidden in sight. And me personally, I would look, for me to look back, I'll be like, damn, I'm kind of stupid. The, the Holy Spirit was warning me constantly, constantly. These ailments, these these sicknesses, before they actually escalate and get higher and higher, it's like the, the, you're being warned that the, you give the devil an inch and he takes a mile. You're being warned constantly. So with, with bitterness, when you start getting impatient, that's a warning, people. Uh, so now that you're warned, you know that you have to be armed for all that war and be protected and pray for that protective coat over you or that protective layer of whateverness. You know, these witches, they have the same type of stuff. They have the same type of protective layer on them. You just have to cast that out. And essentially, you could cast out the, the spirit of divination and witchcraft that they have on you, people. And, uh, what up, Chris? And, uh, and, uh, you just have to cast out that, because they have a protective, uh, you know, they like to attribute it that it can't be broken, but it can be broken. I've broken it multiple times, and the more you, you're persistent with it, the more it breaks, and the easier it breaks. They don't have the type of stamina that you have, though. The Holy Spirit always goes higher and higher than whatever they have, you know. And uh, don't be discouraged, people. God is for you. Uh, this has happened plenty of times before where I, I, I would think that God is like letting the enemy win, but he realistically wasn't letting him win at all. He was just waiting for me to wait on him. And then afterwards, I would go and I would wait on him. And then I would just overwhelm the enemy. And then just like that, you know, there's plenty of situations where that would happen. And then, you know, it's, it's, it's awful. <laughs> It's awful how they how they manipulate you to thinking that they have more power than you when you have the Holy Spirit. Uh, another time, one of those locust spirits will come on me. I will be praying in tongues, so I know I have the Holy Spirit inside of me. But they just don't care. They'll, they'll straight up send those, those those types of locust devils and those types of scorpions at you. They'll, they'll throw scorpions at you. Whether you have the Holy Spirit or whether you don't have the Holy Spirit, have to somebody who's 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 you know they they just don't care at all, people. Uh, they don't care because you're not, you know, you're not doing anything about it. You're just letting them get away with it, essentially. But uh, uh, the tips that I'm actually going to say about uh, spiritual warfare is uh, the first thing, automatically, you have to pray to be prepared for everything. You have to pray to be forewarned that you be forearmed. Okay, that's the first step. You have to prepare. If you were to go into a war, if America was to go to war against Russia, or, you know, God forbid that actually happens. And obviously every every soldier that is a Christian would obviously be praying before they actually engage into the spiritual warfare. Same principle, same concept. Uh, and many, 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 uh, many people, uh, I would personally go blindly into warfare and be like, God's got this. And be confident and be like, and this and that. And it's like, it's like, dang, I, mean, I didn't get the protection that I wanted. I'd be like, I got beat, the, I got beat up. And I'm like, man, I was like, I gotta pray first. You know, obviously with error, you know, it comes a lot of knowledge because you realize you learn from your mistakes and the Holy Spirit is teaching you constantly. Like, you know, here's a more excellent way. Uh, here's a more excellent way. Here's a more excellent way. Constantly, uh, the more you engage, the more you engage in, uh, the more you engage it, I encourage the Holy Spirit will tell you a more excellent way always. But I would encourage you to actually pray for a more excellent way constantly. As soon as you get somebody new, just pray for a more excellent way constantly. The Holy Spirit will warn you how to uh, how to uh, will show you a more excellent way over the enemy and over the devil. Uh, don't think that is you, people. Uh, you, we're not that intelligent. We're like sheep. We're docile in the mind. Uh, we're not, you know, just give God the glory, essentially, forget that, just give God the glory, that way God actually prospers it, 
nothing worse than, you know, ruining your whole your whole work just because you get prideful and, and with vainglory and, you know. Uh, what else? Oh, that's the first step, uh, prepare. And this is teaching me too, people. I would apply this to myself, but it's, it's, it's more, it's being laid to heart more for myself as well. Uh, be prepared first. Uh, this is all out war, people. Uh, when you go out to when you go out to war against another nation or against another country, you're not sitting there trying to talk to another individual on the battlefield. Mm, you're looking out for your brother, making sure that your brother's not about to get shot up, and you're like, hey, you know, and you do all this other type of stuff, and you're like, man, like, put your head down, like it's it, you know, it's war, dude. Uh, it, it's, 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 it's stuff that's gonna take away your life. So stay with that mindset that this is all out war and uh, keep keep moving forward uh, to the, and advancing the and the kingdom and on any bless God on enemy occupied territory. Even right now, I'm getting harassed by devils. Even when I'm trying to tell you this message, that's why I say bless God. They're trying to get me to to to, to submit to the devil, and I'm just like, man, no, nah, forget to, I don't want to be cursed. Bless God, that I may have a, oh that I might reap a blessing from God Himself. That I may not be cursed. That's why I say bless God, people. Because I don't want to be cursed, so I bless God because he'll bless me back. <coughs> that may not be cursed. Is it possible to go without sin? Of course it's possible. Many people, uh, you know, many people like to, many people like to beat themselves up like, man, I, I, I guess, <laughs> I guess, I guess this is my life now. I have to, I have to be in sin Nah, people, we're we're conditioned with this uh frame of mindset that uh we're conditioned to accept that we have to be we have to have we always have to have sin in our lives, people. That's an abomination in God's eyes. Like we're not even we weren't even created like that to begin with. We were created sinless. It wasn't until Eve uh ate from the tree tree of knowledge that sin entered into our body, but we were created sinless, people. So it, it's not even one of those types of things where uh where you know you 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 constantly feel sorry for yourself like I'm I'm never gonna get over this sin people that's a terrible attitude to have I have I have a good attitude about it you know I, I be saying all this other stuff you, people may be watching me comment on on other individual on other individuals and stuff and I be saying I, I say all this other stuff and I, I'm like man uh, there there was this brother in Christ uh, his name is Clyde uh, two thirty eight. Now he posted up that if any man, if any man uh, say that he's sinless, um, you know, that he, he the truth is not in him and he deceives himself. I'm like, well, yeah, this is a true saying, but you know, um, bless God. Uh, then I was like, I was like, but I don't want to be sinless. I was like, I'm determined to be sinless before Christ returns. And then I I screamed and I was I was saying I was like, come victory. Now I said victory, come do your work. I was essentially calling, I was calling the spirit victory, like the angel victory, like there's an angel named victory who comes and gives us this, this uh, the victory, you know, and I was calling that, that, that spirit of the most high to come, to come to me, you know, as I come victory and do your work and <laughs> give me the victory uh, that I may be sinless. And, uh, you know, this is the type of encouragement that the body of Christ needs, essentially, because if you constantly tell these individuals, you know, you're always going to be sinless, it's like you're, you're discouraging these individuals. Some of these people genuinely, there's other people that are like this, and but they just suck it up and they're like, nah, this is just my life. I have to be sinless. This is just my life. But that's an abomination in God's eyesight. Remember, people, one sin the devil was cast out for, I believe, one sin, or more, I don't, I don't even know, but there, there is no... Man, just go read that. God didn't spare the angels, people. So if He didn't spare the angels for sin, who were created holy, He's not gonna spare you. Um, to answer your question. Uh, but yeah, I feel genuinely that it's possible to be sinless while I'm earth, even before Christ returns back. It's I feel like it's very, very, it's a very real possibility to actually do this. And the more you actually are persistent and you're diligent, I feel like God will, you know, you know, He'll actually appreciate that because you're you're desperately trying to be His son to be sinless, and you know, I, I think that has honor and merit in it, and uh, 
and virtue to it. Uh, I mean, you're more than welcome to copy that type of virtuous and that type of frame of mindset. You know, it's like, not with that attitude, I'm not going to be sinless. Let's stop being a Debbie Downer and leave me alone. Not with this momentum. But, uh... Oh, uh, that brings me to a lot of uh, a lot of different uh, conclusions. Uh, bless God, you see the devil's already coming at me, getting reckless uh, for saying that type of stuff. Because you guys are being encouraged and uplifted in this type of stuff, and I'm trying to strengthen you people. And, and even Christ gave me that commandment to strengthen my brothers. He said, "Strengthen your brothers." He said, "They need the strength. They're not really getting fed. Even right now, I hear him. He said, they're not really getting fed the." the meat in their dual season. So I need you to to actually step up and, you know, this is, this is Christ speaking. He said, I need you to step up and actually do the work that you're supposed to be doing. Uh, but yeah, this is the first step of spiritual warfare is prepare for war and is for armed people. I've been saying this a lot recently because it's, it's really been effective uh, for me personally. Um, uh, other time, another another thing that, that constantly, that I would see results in, was automatically it, it, I don't I don't know if the spirit of unbelief lingers. So you may be believing, right? Or you may or you may you may be believing it, but I don't know if the spirit of unbelief and doubt lingers still. And God sees it. He still sees the spirits of unbelief and doubt, and He doesn't want to prosper it because He sees He sees the spirit still. And he, He's like, no, nah, you still have unbelief and doubt, even though you believe or you believe somewhat. Those spirits are still lingering there. So I need you to cast those spirits out first. And after you cast those spirits out. Then you know I'll be able to actually prosper because they're gone and they're taken out of the way. So now, now there's no there's no doubt whatsoever for you to, to doubt. So yeah, so yeah, I think the the spirit of unbelief and doubt uh, they linger around us, even though we we feel in our hearts that we may be believing to the fullest extent, to the fullest, to the fullest, and to the fullest. Like nobody can nobody can like put you down. You know, nobody can take away that faith that you have. And you believe to the fullest, and you feel genuinely in your heart that you know that nobody can can ruin your mood, and you're like, nah, I believe, I believe, and but maybe those those two spirits are are right there, you know, unbelief and doubt are there, and it looks offensive in God's eyesight because He sees those two spirits, and He wants you to cast those out firstly and get over with that. I don't know, I don't know if that's what uh. uh if that's why God doesn't prosper in so many things, because He, because I've seen it for myself. After I would cast unbelief and doubt out, I, I would actually receive, uh, you know, healing, and I would actually receive, uh, you know, things like that. So yeah, it's something to think about. Cast, cast out all unbelief and doubt, and uh, and make and ensure the fact that um, that you don't. Uh, that you don't have these types of uh, that you're not even letting them harass you and be unbelieving or you know there's a lot of things too you know if when you're getting robbed you don't tell the person that's robbing you you're not gonna do this to me sir and just point at him with his words you know sell your cloak and buy a sword people you gotta be you gotta be prepared you gotta be prepared for this type of stuff you know you can't be one of those types of individuals that just it just lets the devil walk all over you, and then next thing you know, you're just looking down. It's a lot. It's a lot of strongholds, people. These are strongholds and individuals. And then, uh, the next, the next uh, part of spiritual warfare. I already covered prepare, preparation. So praying before you, then afterwards you pray before. Uh, glory to God. Um, afterwards you will prepare. Uh, you know you obviously you ask God for His counsel and His strategies. And then you actually engage in the spiritual warfare, people. Um, there's a there's there's many uh, even right now I'm being attacked. Uh, there's there's many uh, there's many principles that that are um, you see, uh, uh, this is the devil right now. This is one devil too, and uh, they 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 attack me relentlessly. You know, and uh, it's not even anything of those types of things. I even changed. I even changed my my picture to it because I already know that witches be coming on my page, and they be trying to investigate and trying to see how far the the kingdom of God is moving, how to try to combat it. But already, God's already miles ahead of him, and he's already he's already going forward. He's already miles ahead of what these individuals are doing. So I got to go and point it at them, but I'm pointed. 
at the spirit behind them, and they're gonna, they already know. I already, I already send the ministering spirits out to actually get that message out to them. That nah, I'm not aiming at you. I'm aiming at the spirit that you're using. All the spirits that you're using. So I already sent the ministering spirit out to ensure that they get the message, and uh, to ensure that he's, they're actually shooting the spirits that are, that they're trying to attempt to use to try to de destroy me. Uh, it's just a spirit of destruction, people, and uh, cast out on belief and doubt and and those types of things. Uh, what else is it gonna say? Actual engagement in spiritual warfare. Okay, people. Uh, this is just experience myself. From the outside looking in, it's a lot easier to to see uh, where a person uh, makes mistakes. But from the inside, you're you're too overwhelmed and your mind is too cloudy that you're not able to actually grasp the fact of what is actually happening to you. So another person may see from the outside looking in, they're like, "Man, I already know the solution to that problem," but you, your your mind, your mind is already clouded. And, uh, you know, even right now, just, somebody just ripped off a devil off my head. Uh, yeah, and, uh, uh, you know, most of this stuff is pretty straightforward, you know. You just keep pushing, and, and uh, I need you people to read uh, John 5, 17 through, and 18, and, uh, and read what Jesus Christ said. And uh, he says that my Father works hitherto, and I work also. So people, praying without ceasing is actually working 100% like the father is working 100% and I need you people to constantly be uh be following that example because you guys are sons and daughters of the most high this is written in in, in 1 first John uh, 4 4 so I need you to follow the image of the most high and be constantly working uh for the kingdom of God and uh and be praying without ceasing people this is something that we were called to do regardless by uh, apostle Paul uh, you need to be praying without ceasing and advancing the kingdom regardless regardless of the situation, you know, and, and let that motivation and encourage you. And then let the second part encourage you also, because this is a revelation that, that Christ gave to me, how uh, how Jesus Christ, how we're all sons and daughters of the Most High. Jesus Christ said that he was the son of the Most High. So we also have been given that authority to, to call ourselves sons of the Most High. So we also are equal to the Most High. But of course, many of us have a lot to... Uh, have a lot of flesh to deal with. So you had to first clean the inside of your cup violently, people, and, and clean it and scrub it and take out all the dirty stains, people. They're not going to come out just like that. Many people, uh, I have that notion, and I, I think like that too, and I'm just like, nah, I was like, these, th these things will c just come out like nothing. Nah, people, you have to be cleaning them violently that the outside may appear clean, and you have to constantly be cleaning the inside of your cup or, you know, you're just gonna be bum rushed and destroyed by the devil because by by one little thing these devils like to uh um uh, you know these devils like to what's the word they like to make their homes in, in individuals and when one comes in seven comes in then twelve and then fourteen and all uh, fourteen and twenty eight and next thing you know you know the the, the latter end is worse than the beginning but you're forewarned so now you're forearmed and people. It's just terrible. The order they have the 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 kingdom of darkness does has a structure does does have a structure, you know, and this 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 way that they've been doing has been working for them for so long, and they've been doing this for a lot longer than ours. But you know, thanks be to our God who gives us the victory in Jesus Christ, who just you know cuts the head off the serpent, and uh, and says no, enough is enough, and that was through uh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, I, I myself bear witness of this because when I look at my family members, I look at how they act and I'm just like, and they're not Christian, they're not saved. I'm just like, I, I'm not, but this is my family, people. So I can say this type of stuff, but other people can't say this type of stuff. And I just look at them and I'm just like, man, you people are just degenerates. You know, you guys are just bogus to yourselves. And I, and I realize and I look and I look at my father, my earthly father, and I see where it stops. And it stops at me because of what Jesus Christ did. So right now, I'm just picturing Jesus Christ is on the cross. And I just picture, um, and it's sad, you know, but I, and I picture, uh, I picture his feet. And I, that's, all I, that's all that I'm seeing right now in vision. And, uh, and I, I see that. And I see, I, 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 and I see how my father is and how my father acts, and then it gets to me, and it's just like it just stops there, and it's just like, well, that's a testament to the Most High. 
to the Son, you know, that, you know, how it says that, you know, all that Christ became a curse for us. And that's essentially what I see as well. Uh, and I look at my little brother, he's following in the same footsteps as my father is. I mean, he may want to deny it, but, you know, I can see it because he doesn't have the Holy Spirit. He doesn't have eyes. Um, and uh, it, it's, it's awful and it, it's terrible. Um, but obviously I have faith because of Acts 17. I forgot which one it says where you and your household are going to be saved. I'm not a sour puss about it. I'm not, like, you know, mad over it. It's like, whatever, you know. I just got to wait and be patient and wait for these individuals to actually get over it. Because they will get over it. Um, you think it's okay if you listen to secular music, but you still don't cuss and commit those acts that you talk about? Haha. <laughs> yeah. Um, I actually kind of do listen to secular music because I just can't get I can't get into uh, gospel music for some strange reason. I I just don't like. I I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about gospel music that I just don't like. I mean, there's certain songs that that I do like. And there's certain songs that I don't like, but I'm just not the type of person that that um that actually likes gospel music. And uh, if you listen to music, you know, it's to secular music. I mean, it still teaches you stuff, you know, that that you know secular people. I mean, that holy people can't really teach you. But I, I would say, no, nah, people use common sense. I don't listen to music with curse words. And I try to, and if I do want to listen to the music with curse words, uh, I try to, uh, I try to, uh, to actually, you know, not hear that type of stuff because it is bogus. I have to rebuke that devil because I look bad if I don't rebuke it. And uh, I look bad in God's eyes. It's like I'm consenting to it, but I had to rebuke the devil uh, that's cursing him. Uh, but. But nah, uh, I I do. There, not all secular music is bad, people. There's there's some there's certain secular music that's helped me praise God, and uh, there, there and there's certain secular music that you know that's encouraging for warfare, which is currently the stage that we're in. This is all out war, and uh, obviously you know sin shall not have dominion over you, people. If you if you begin to get scared of secular music, you know your 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 faith is is weak. You know you will, you will put yourself under their yoke. Essentially, that's what you would do. You put yourself under the individual's yoke because you're scared. Because you're you're scared. We're only supposed to fear God, people. And this is another teaching as well. We're only supposed to fear God, people. So if we're only supposed to fear God, it's like the person or the thing that you fear becomes your God. Is this making sense? <laughs> if gospel music had good beats, then I'd be fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some of them are... Realistically, it doesn't even... It, it's just... It, it's just when you actually... It's just crazy, people. Like, the devil is seriously everywhere. Even in the church and even in not in the church. Even not in the church. The devil's sneaky, dude. Uh, and, uh... Yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna have to cut this this uh this this live short because my my battery is on twenty percent. Uh, but yeah, the devil sneaky people. There's I've heard gospel music that had uh triple six in it, and you know it's it's terrible. People, what's happening for real? I could cry right now because this is just horrible. This whole situation is just terrible, man. And uh, yeah, this is this is awful. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, uh, if, if you fear anything other than God, you put yourself under their yoke, people. So if you fear, uh, whatever, if you fear whatever, just fear God, people, and, uh, fear the Lord and, uh, depart from evil. And this is written in, in, in Proverbs, uh, three, uh, I forgot what it was. Is it fine if I turn on the instrumental version and worship God to it since there are no words in the song? Uh, pray about it. You know, I'll pray about it. It's, it's, you have to have a clean conscience and make sure that your conscience is, is, is clean. Because back then, when I had a clean conscience, I, I, it was like life was fine, you know. But as soon as, you got, as soon as your conscience gets defiled, that's when, you know, that's when I started getting actual trouble. And after that happened, I haven't been the same. Since 
after my conscience got defiled, you know, I'm sure there's other aspects to it, there's other things to it, but I had a clean conscience prior to all this other stuff, and once your conscience is defiled, you know, it's like, man, it's hard to get back to the clean conscience, but, uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, bless God, keep praying to melt those curses that are on you, and, uh, and bind them, and cast them into the abyss, if you see something that's persistent with you, just send legions to these individuals, to these devils. Uh, I, I've sent legions to, to people who are messing with my, my, my personal stuff. And as soon as I would send the legions to them, automatically it would just grow. It would just, it would just revert back to its normal state. People, uh, so realistically, all this stuff is just nonsense. No, this stuff doesn't really, doesn't matter at all. It's like, it's, it's just weird. And uh, don't don't worry. And these what, these uh these legions don't don't they don't they don't pinch. These uh these legions they do uh they do beat them up. So yeah, don't worry about that, people. These legions definitely are beating them up. You just gotta order them and make sure that you're ordering them correctly. Um, yeah, that's basically it, people. Warfare legions use them. Use everything that you have. Uh, use the wisdom that you have and give it to God so He actually gives you a nice little product afterwards. And then you're able to actually use everything. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's about it. Uh, bless God. Uh, keep, uh, keep advancing on enemy spiritual warfare. Uh, I mean, enemy, uh, bless God, advanced territory. And uh, don't let the devil get in your head. The snake start at the head. Bless God.